The scene opens with Mark Spector, also known as Mr. Knight in his superhero persona, discussing a case with a detective and a group of police officers. Mr. Knight assumes control of the investigation, causing Officer Ryan Trent to question his leadership abilities. Ryan expresses his doubts, but Mr. Knight assures the group that the police force lacks the necessary skills to handle a highly trained killer, and he volunteers to take on that responsibility. The detective supports Mr. Knight's stance, which further frustrates Ryan. He objects once again, this time directing his dissatisfaction towards the detective. In response, the detective dismisses Ryan as an ineffective street cop with attitude problems. Unbeknownst to his colleagues, Ryan carries deep-seated insecurities stemming from a lifetime of belittlement and doubt. Throughout his life, his decisions have been constantly scrutinized, leading to a lack of self-confidence. Even after joining the NYPD, he struggles with feelings of inadequacy. The detective's preference for the vigilante, Mr. Knight, becomes the breaking point for Ryan, leading him down a path of obsession. Obsessed with Moon Knight, Ryan becomes fixated on proving his worth and superiority. He starts collecting every piece of information he can find about Moon Knight's true identity at the police precinct. Ryan intensifies his workout routine to build strength and frequents a shooting range to improve his aim. During his investigations, he makes significant discoveries, uncovering details about Moon Knight's associates and a list of his adversaries. Among them is the Black Spectre, a classic enemy of Moon Knight, who becomes Ryan's inspiration for killing and ultimately replacing Moon Knight. Driven by the desire for respect and promotion, Ryan bribes his way into acquiring the ID of a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Disguised as the agent, he comes into contact with Marlene Alron, Mark Spector's former lover, and Jean-Paul Duchamp, also known as Frenchie, one of Mark's closest friends. While they do not reveal Moon Knight's secret identity, they share crucial information. Ryan learns that Moon Knight is relentless in his fight against crime and always works alone, even forsaking his relationships. Frenchie also mentions that Moon Knight possesses an uncanny ability to survive, a result of his devotion to Khonshu, the Egyptian god. Armed with this knowledge, Ryan sets out to kill and replace Moon Knight once and for all. In an attempt to become more similar to his target, who operates alone and avoids attachments, Ryan tragically murders his wife. With a costume and equipment in hand, he assumes the identity of Black Spectre and begins a violent spree, attacking people and gruesomely peeling off their faces while calling out for Moon Knight. As Moon Knight's car arrives at the location, Black Spectre triggers three IEDs planted in nearby cars to explode and destroy Moon Knight's vehicle. However, only two of the explosives detonate, leaving the car damaged but not completely destroyed. Black Spectre emerges from his hiding place, anticipating Moon Knight's demise among the wreckage. To his surprise, Moon Knight appears using his glider. Before the battle can commence, Trent declares his intention to kill Moon Knight in a misguided quest for love and acceptance. Suddenly, the third IED explodes, injuring Black Spectre. When asked about his identity, Trent reveals himself as Black Spectre. Moon Knight removes Trent's mask and explains that he doesn't seek love because those close to him suffer and die. He emphasizes his preference for solitude, claiming that working alone is what led him to victory. Moon Knight leaves Black Spectre to perish amidst the flames and departs from the scene, 